Hello and welcome to today's web news, where we'll be taking a look at some of the stories making the online headlines. Coming up on today's show, look inside Viktor Yanukovych's presidential palace. Random acts of kindness replace the controversial neck nominations. And a catwalk model goes base jumping. garage with dozens, hundreds even, of vintage cars and motorbikes. Contrary to what one might think, this isn't footage from an automobile museum. We're looking at Viktor Yanukovych's luxury country estate, and the images were filmed on Saturday just a few hours before the Ukrainian president was removed from power. A number of videos have been posted online attesting to the incredible discoveries inside this sprawling property in the suburbs of Kiev. Walking around the grounds, Ukrainians were left open-mouthed by the fallen president's very own gas station, golf course, and not to mention the tropical greenhouses and private zoo, complete with farm animals and some exotic species like ostriches. Another totally unexpected find in Yanukovych's abandoned home, the replica galleon floating on an artificial lake. As we can see from this video, which has been doing the rounds on sharing sites, some were able to get inside the vast ship with its sumptuous decor and well-stocked cellar. And in addition to these jaw-dropping discoveries, those who actually went inside the former head of state's house were able to gather numerous documents, although some were fished out of water. Yanukovych and his entourage had evidently been trying to destroy the paperwork, which included suspicious-looking invoices as well as the names and photos of government opponents deemed to pose a threat, like members of Femen, for example. <laughs> 23-year-old Julien Voinsant from Bordeaux in France handed out food and drink to homeless people and nominated three friends to do the same. Neck nominations have been dominating social media recently, but instead of downing or necking an alcoholic drink in one go, posting the video online and challenging others in their network to do the same, some have been using the online drinking game to do some good. With the neck nomination craze claiming its fifth victim last week, a 20-year-old British man, many are now turning towards this new so-called smart nomination initiative. It's proving increasingly popular on social media. The purpose-built Facebook page, for example, has over 12,000 likes and counting. And with each nominee designating three others to do a good deed, the chain of solidarity has soon gained momentum, with participants filming their smart nomination, which often involves giving food to someone living on the streets. People have also been posting under the RAK nomination hashtag for random act of kindness. As we can see in these YouTube videos, people have been coming up with all sorts of ways to do something nice for someone else. Giving flowers to random strangers, for example, or clearing the snow from parked cars, and also handing out umbrellas to passers-by. Mexican drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman was arrested on Saturday and has been trending on social media platforms since, with web users hailing the news. Mexico's president, Enrique Piña Nieto, for example, has praised the police and all those involved in capturing the infamous drug dealer, who's been on the run for the past 13 years. And social networkers across the country are calling for exemplary punishment for the now former head of the Sinaloa cartel. The Ratopia restaurant map available on the Gothamist website shows restaurants across New York City according to the likelihood of spotting a rat or a mouse there. Journalist Steve Melendez took health department inspection data from January 2013 onwards and counted the number of restaurants where evidence of rats or mice had been reported. And you may never want to eat out again as the map highlights that whether you head to Brooklyn, the Bronx or Manhattan, there is at least a 20% probability that there's a rodent on the premises. Twenty-four-year-old Jake Lockett has really progressed as an artist over the years, and you can see just how much 
on the British artist's website, where he's exhibiting drawings from age two and upwards. The collection's called Drawing Progression and showcases characters dreamt up during his childhood to the more surrealist style of his adult years. In this astonishing video, we see Italian catwalk model Roberta Mancino and several base jumpers hurtling down a mountainside in evening attire. The clip is available on the GoPro YouTube channel and takes high fashion to a whole new level.